I'm our patron who's been watching the show now for an hour, wants to see Amgen, and I, I would too. Amgen is a leader in bio, biopharmaceuticals. Um, flagship drugs include red blood, uh, Epigen and Aranesp, and some other weird names. Um, okay, so with drug companies, the great news is they have patents. When they have patents, they own that market. When the patents go away, they lose that entire market. So the big thing is, is there a good pipeline for this company? That is the qualitative aspect that I'm not going to look at on this analysis. We're going to look at it as is right now. What was the company the other day we looked at where 50% of the revenue came from uh, Humira? Th that was, uh, yeah, that was uh, Pfizer. No. What is it, what is it Don? It wasn't Biogen. Oh, sorry. Whatever it was, the whole point is, and they're losing their Humira patent here shortly. So that 50% of the revenue is going away. Or it's going to be decreasing drastically. So for Amgen, we want to pay attention to this stuff. So $130 billion company, 17 PE, check mark, 31% profit margin, check wow, mark, 3% okay. dividend. Hey. So their dividend is uh, 1.2 times 3. Call it $4 billion just to be conservative. $4 billion. Check, 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 though? Check, check. How about revenue growth, pillar number three? <laughs> 21 to 22.2, check mark. Profit growth, Paul, pillar number four, baby? Profit growth. Uh, 6.9 to 7.8, check mark. Wow. But as you guys can see, these are not big growing. It's not fast growing company. They went from 20 billion to 22. AbbVie was the one that had Humira. <laughs> so these aren't big fast growing companies. So you gotta remember that when you look at your multiples. If they're not growing fast, you cannot pay a big multiple because you have to get your return based on the current cash flow that's coming in. Four remember, check marks in a row for Amgen, keep going. Uh, 758 shares, 605, check mark there. <laughs> Five in a row. Let's go all to five have been, all been five, baby. Let's go to uh, current assets greater than current liabilities. Twenty-two point seven versus nine point nine five. Wowzer, cow. that's good. Okay. Great stuff. And the other thing I like about it is their inventory is not a big chunk of that of that number. That's a big plus for me. Uh, Amgen. Let's look at free cash flow growth over the past five years. Baby. This is what I love, guys. These drug companies have amazing free cash flow. All right. So they went from uh, nine point one billion to 8.5, so it's an X there. Uh -oh. So let's check out the rest of it. So 9.6, 10.5, uh, 10.6. What's, what's the last one, Paul? 8.5, 10.6. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Divided by five is uh, 9.6. Market cap's now, 130 billion. This is not a fast growing company. 130 billion, doesn't seem bad to me, 13 times. Does not seem awful. So, I like this. Oh, 3% dividend was $4 billion. They can easily afford that. Mm -hmm. Okay? I like this. What you need to do now is look at their pipeline. How is their pipeline relative? Do they have this revenue stream growing? Is it staying the same? What are they doing to make sure that it's maintained? They made a big acquisition last year. $13.6 billion. What was that? Let's find that out. They did big acquisitions earlier in the decade. So they, maybe this acquisition had something to do with, um, with making sure that they, they keep their pipeline growing. But I kind of like this. The question is, how do they fund this? They fund this, um, they fund this with financing? I don't know. Either way, I'm not, I'm not opposed to Amgen.